What I've got here is the Ethernet shield for the Arduino. So if I turn it sideways, the, the shields sit on top of the Arduino um, with the connectors carrying on through to the shield. So I've got here a variable resistor which is attached to one of the analog inputs and I've got an LED attached to one of the outputs here as well. Um, and when I turn the variable resistor, eventually the LED lights up. Okay. So if I turn it down again, it's set at halfway point to turn off and on. Um, what I've also got here, borrowed some code from the Arduino website, and I've got a web server running on it. So it's registered for the campus network. I've got an Ethernet cable here attaching it to the campus network. And if I look at my web browser and press refresh, it's telling me what the current value of the analog input is. So if I refresh it a few times, same value. If I change the value up slightly, 527. The um, values on the input, if I turn it all the way up, go from 0 to 1023. So I've got it at 512 is the transition point between the LED being on and the LED being off. I don't know how close I can get that. Just about. So that will be about 500. 509, that's not bad, is it? Um, so I think this is pretty neat. I've got uh, input from the real world here, I've got output to the real world here, and I've also got a web server which is telling me what's going on on the board.